Lorenzo Sex Man does the dirty all night long. Pay him money. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's me. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Sex Man does the dirty all night long. <laughs> Give me your money. Yeah. That's the haiku, yet. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's find out where we are. Bye, door. Another haiku. Uh... Dirty alley, dirty alley. Ugh. Sex, sex, sex. Plow the man good. In a bed, no, no. A uh, thank you, a uh, thank you. Jeez, uh, <laughs> you're a little looser with your uh, term of free form. <laughs> <laughs> lack of, I guess. Uh oh, he's pumping him out. Welcome. Clientele. Uh. Werewolves only, boy. Get that good. Lichen throat dick. Hot wiener, my ass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you get there, friend? Is it, is it sleepy time? <laughs> a, little, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirst Uh You can curse yes, it, by the I way. Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, kitty. We have to be careful. Be careful now. Fuck, shit, fuck, bitch. Whore cock sucking. Actually, yeah, you still have one minute left, but I'll let this slide. No, you told me already. <laughs> are these my pills? Wow, but where are they going? Home. That's. Good. Home, I guess home is in that direction. Mm, delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. They're regular berries then, not fire berries. What the f when did we. I don't remember fire berries. Just gotta grab the jar. Pills? Don't move. Ugh! You wanted to show me the way back home? No, it's called bait, Fran. Gotta go for the bait. There it is. We are in a net. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend, bad, bad. Well, let's cut our way out. It word. Fred, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Edward, your faithful friend. Edward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yeah, he was in the fuck. He was in the fucking Jack in the Box. He was scrawled on the wall of the. Two he was girls. in the fuck. He was in the fuck. Um. You were the one that cursed the, the twins. There were also the two girls who were in the... I'm actually pretty sure the two girls in there were also the twins. Uh, the two girls sell in the insane asylum. Uh, your name has showed up on multiple walls. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back. Do you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. 
What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? Hi, Super Steaver one. I'm playing free and blow. <laughs> I don't know why I just sniffed so hard. They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. What the fuck? <laughs> But let's stop talking about the system, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I am not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that... <laughs> You were able to imagine me because I already existed. That sounds really uncomfortable. Can you stop? Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. I can't fucking trust you. Why should I, sir? I can't just trust you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now, I have something to show you. Why did you catch me in a net? Are we gonna gloss over that, that you literally caught me with a trap and a bottle of pills? Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't like it. Hey, Mr. Midnight? My dear, what should we trust Itward? I don't know, my dear. Let's pretend we do. So we won't think we are scared of him, alright? Alright, kitty, I can do that. The hell? Behold, the Itward flag machine, what do you think? It's alright, but can it really fly? Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Shit, I just checked it. It is 235 for me right now. Mm -hmm. That is uncomfortable. I don't really like that coincidence. Um, inside the ultra reality, not a coincidence. we can travel whenever, wherever we want to. Wake up. To go. Wake up. Stop it. <laughs> you missed Stop you. it. <laughs> Wake up. Stop it. <laughs> I don't like this. I already have issues with this association. Stop. <laughs> Won't you come back to us? <laughs> uh, I don't like this. Uh, Alex, it's a con conscious effort to make that. Don't worry, it's fine. You're real, unless this is my craziest side. Fair. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality, do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sure, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries, alright? Alright, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water I made for myself. The fuck? Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. That's why it said fire. What the fuck, it was? Alright, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas! I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know. 
But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Thanks. Invisible to my eyes? Mm -hmm. I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. You couldn't have just said hi and you had to catch me in a fucking net trap? I see this person I need to talk to. Well, better make a net trap. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Mmm, delicious berries. Well, time for drugs. That's uncomfortable. That's also uncomfortable. Ew, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me, but from some other plane. Who took you here, or is it me visiting you in the other reality? Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty, fresh flesh, mmm. You're the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Wow, so much hair and so shiny. I feel like uh, in a magical world, I feel like in a magical world of hair. Mmm, delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. I am gonna go to bed because I'm falling asleep by my computer. Okay, little bean. So, get out, uh, get out. You are trespassing on my territory. Getting out and trespassing. I'll talk to you on the flip flap. Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no madness, young lady. Uh, I'm very sorry, but you ha- but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me, rotten and bloody, I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Well, why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, I am not a moose, I am the deadly worm. A deadly worm? Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm, a deadly worm. Don't go, I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and I don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? My name is Fran. Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire bears are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Oh, okay. I need water in the bucket. This says hell. Situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? 
Not at all. We are just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye! How did I get over here? Oh, my boots are quite dirty. I have to clean them when I get home. This is very odd. When we fell into a thirst, there was no water. Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. I need help, please. Would you like me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Ooh. The bucket is now full of water. Aw, oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors so open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye! Oh, the bucket is full of water. It doesn't weigh anything. Get out! Get out, scavengers! Climb again? It's me, sir. Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead! Fire is gone. I can take the berries now. I can't just pull them off with my hands. They are firmly attached. Use. Cut. Hey, boy. Well, I got your shit. Choose your bucket. Sir, it well, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the lucifers? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been to the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. It's what's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Sir, I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, man, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Well... I'm not concerned at all, nope. It's 2.36, we have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. Soon we'll be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, friend? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Soon? But why not now? Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time, you have to explore and experience your step. This means the answers will come when you find them, not when others tell you how or where to find them. Oh, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What things, sir? The machine needs 
needs some maintenance. I think you do incredible work. Here are the fire berries and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the water pump working again, and the fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room with the left. But feel free to any enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automa automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Um, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes it even more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. Ha 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 ha. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. Okay, fine. Hey! Oh, that's the Itward cat. Oh, Itward left the cat for me. Okay. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. Reality view, ultra reality view, chemical mixture. Eight, ba ba ba. Heat up the water. This looks very chemical and fun. Let me see. A M F M. Missing. Oh, this looks like some kind of water pump. I don't understand the language, but at least there are drawings. Seems I have to fill up the pump with water and such. Uh, won't do. but it's not working. Look at all this mess. It doesn't know about hygiene. He does know about mechanical things. Maybe he keeps these parts to make new ones. I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. His face has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. Mm, are those to drink water? They are quite small. Um, A18 and 116. A18. Yeah. What do you have inside, little bottle? I just keep switching between these two. Jesus. These lights show for sure that there's something working. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. Right? Yes, it is. Okay. Blue, red. This pink hose may be good to connect somewhere.
2 p.f. Turned on in order to work. Use. What was in that one? N one six six. R15. like a teapot with forks and spoons. I'm very, I, it's very fun to look at, honestly. Oh, this looks like a mathematical problem. Wait, what's the drugs world? Oh, great. Oh, a little key, I wonder what it's for. Are you, are you here to kill Itward? Hello, why won't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Many shoes, maybe they're too tight for big it, the big Itward. There are many women's shoes too, maybe Itward likes them. He's gonna kill you, dum-dum. Of course, why not? They're pretty. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. But letters are alright, they tell stuff to imagine. I misunderstand stories sometimes, and that can be a great danger. Oh, great. Them some feet. Feet! One foot with a shoe and one foot without a shoe. Is the Athirsta language again? I wonder what it says. Literally applying the bottoms of someone's feet to, to a fucking shoe. A wooden foot! It reminds me of me when I was a tree! I guess it's used as a model for making shoes. A hammer, obviously the hammer stuff. Tip. I'll keep this. Duct tape always is used to help. I wonder what this machine does. What? The door is closed. Maybe Ivor can open it later. very well. It's quite dark. What's this? Oh, the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. So many pages. I wonder if Itward really does love black cats. If these dolls represent Mr. Midnight, it would be strange. Don't trust this man. He's really fucking creepy. Oh, this looks like a mathematical problem. I wonder what kind of things this machine counts have wires. How does it work? 
Humor's technology is very amazing. What's this? Oh, great. The keyhole. There you go, let's see what happens. In a world made of darkness and light. Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they were both mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It were the creature of the night. Came always around in dreams of reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Edward was a friend. Edward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Edward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Ifrit came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. The world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. Just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Ah. Fran was the end of their challenge. And they failed. Good. It makes me want to trust Itward. Many things to look at. I don't think I need any of this. It makes me wonder. These are many things that we never really need. Chair. looks like this one at home. There's no gas, how do I get gas? Gas, gas, gas.
gotta be flat like that. Gotta make sure that's plugged in. minutes hours and days tick tock tick tock i forgot to understand you i forgot to give myself some love seconds minutes oh a hose it has some sort of connector where's the missing part oh this looks like a green octopus hose i don't need this pencil I already have a crayon. One 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 six six R fifteen two PF A one eight. to fix the automatic driver. You need a help. I think I managed myself quite well, too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fred. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? The rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. There's a pink nose and blue boots. Let's just sit 
sitting there, no blinking, no movement, just it's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me, otherwise I will never know. Brave you are, do you? Follow me now. Well. There? See, it's just sitting there. Isn't that just a strange behavior? Maybe the rabbit is scared and that's why it won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I dare... I don't dare to touch it. Alright, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Let's drugs first. Oh. It's... Got a dress on. See? It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There's nothing to be afraid of. I I also was expecting a chungus of a rabbit. What? Don't go, Mr. Midnight. This is not funny. You fucking tricked her. Um, what did it say? Oh! That wasn't there before. Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry, or both. Two. Okay, let's examine this box. I wonder why Polonchus gave me this. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it can't be opened at all. Ah, oh, it won't turn on. What should I do? Okay. He's a battle -y. Okay, three. That's a carrot sign. That's a carrot! Green leaves. A pencil. I don't need it. Wrench. I think this is a wrench. It can be useful. These bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. Edward made a paper boat. Mm, hello? Are you Edward's other hat? I like the hat. Well, let's open it. like an elevator. Oh, it's coming back down. Whoa, mechanical arm, are you alive? I think it likes to push buttons. There we go. Oh, great. It forced me to take the pills too. A water symbol, I guess, is connected to something. Are you... Oh, great. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Why are you here? Please tell me. Is this to make music with the wind? on movies. The thief always knows what to do. Hmm. 
this is locked. A reset button, how practical. Hello, there's nobody in there. A water symbol, I guess this is connected to something. Can I use this carrot? Oh, won't do. Eight five eight six nine. Got it. Eight five eight six nine. Eight one two three four five six seven eight five one two three four five eight 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, five, six, nine. Nine this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Eight, five, six. Eight, five, eight, six, nine. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, five, eight, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I do that wrong? Did I switch them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay. Eight that way. Eight that way, yes. Five that way. Eight that way. Eight, five, eight. Six. That way. One, two, three, four, five, six. That way, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had it right. Is there more? Am I missing another number? Oh, it looks like Fran. Am I missing something with those numbers? Maybe use this 
on the tree. No, can't do that. It is a tree. Fucking rabbit, man. Can I use the bucket on Fred's parents? It won't work. Water symbol. Like this. Dust moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing something. I'm missing something here and I'm so Puzzle games! Eight right, it was eight right and five right. I can double check though. Eight, eight right. I did five left? Wait, 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 let me see, let me see. Use. Carrot! It is! Thank you! Why did I- how did I miss that? Well, let's get rid of the giant fucking rabbit. That was where I was getting caught up. I got the directions wrong. I'm a fucking silly bitch, damn it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey! Light on! Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Day. You look fucking terrifying. Oh, a birthday party? Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. That was like... Y y everything you do it it makes me feel worse and worse. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. Alright, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. The cake is made of all the ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. Yeah, psychological trauma! For a surprise party! Fucking, it, it reminds me of the movie The Game. If you haven't seen the movie The Game, that movie's a mind fuck and a half.
Like, the game is doing everything to make it hard to trust this- the, to, to trust it work. And we have something- and we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. Which means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. Oh. It's my cat. Wow, a cat doll. Aw. Thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. But is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is that the ultra is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yeah. Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities, and the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. Maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Ah! <laughs> that may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We are about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? How excite- Wow, how exciting! Alright, here I go! Oh, no, 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 no! This is when I get sucked out of the ship like a snail in a shell in a French person. I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water! That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty. I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamalas. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go! Yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. No, 
no, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair, not fair. I will always take care of you, my dear. I still don't trust you, but fine. It, word, your idea of comfort is trauma first. And the ship was down for birthday party. The end. But that is a very sad end. But that is a very sad ending. It weren't tell me another story, please. All right, this is the story of Fran Bo and me. But she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. I promise, it weren't. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. This is trippy as fuck. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Ugh. Like, I know he's fine. Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Hey, look, a deal! And a bicycle. It worked. Ow, Kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we are alive. Mm, but Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you could take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I, I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come to me someday. A red bicycle. Is this Itward's bicycle or mine? Anyway, it's broken, so I can't ride it. I would need Itward to fix it. He had a lot of tools, but he's gone. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Ah. It says, say, hey, street. Then my house is in that direction. And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not at home. Dear, do you have the key to go inside? Oh, do, do I have, do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty, but I know there's a key hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Mm, let's find it. The trellis. The pots. Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Insects don't run away. Oh. Ugh, no key. What is this? A note? It says, I took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran? That's me. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Uh, all right, then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Are you ready for num another trauma birthday party? Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Look, he's gotta be, he's, he's, he's gotta be robust. <laughs> Fran, I can't believe this, you're alive. Where were you? Fuck you, doctor. 
Get away from me! I won't go back to the asylum! I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, is, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you are here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. What a bitch! That's what assholes do! Oh, damn it. You're a piece of shit! I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. That's bullshit! I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made him leave. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Ooh. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Hulma, said, it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there was no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise, and they were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, Fran Bo was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. Oh yeah, I found that. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the le levels of e ecleptomatin were too high. That can't be good. Yeah, I can see fucking other realms of reality! Ecleptomatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the e e e e ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes, but that's because of the all new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, friend? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of duo team, nothing more. You're boring. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, friend. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. No, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he haunt and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Ithurster with Polantris, the great wizard. What are you talking about? Please, friend, I'm serious. I'm serious too! You're a bitch! I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantris, and my kitty is all alone. Palantris? Itward? Please, friend. Palantris is the doctor of Thursda. He is a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. He looks a lot like an axolotl crossed with Falcor from the never-ending story. That's not a movie that's been made yet, but you'll see it. It'll be good. <coughs> 
and Edward is my faithful friend. He scares the fuck out of me. He looks like a bone daddy. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you oh, it seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. No, you're just a little bitch child. It wasn't it wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight and I saw mother and father too. The twins. What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. It's the same bitch! What? Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. What happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Yeah, I know this. <coughs> that is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantris was right about you. You are not a back doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Better improvements, improvements. <laughs> Fucking adults suck, man. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Are we going to my grave? Did you take me to my fucking grave? Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? Are you gonna kill me? Hey, look, a crowbar! Put it in reverse! The gearbox has tiny men inside. Get them out with the crowbar! <coughs> this is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. No one who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? Let's find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Ugh. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deedly worms came already. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Dern. I'll see you soon. What a bitch. I wonder what that lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little buck? Dude, I fucking wish. Haven't you rested enough already? Did the deedly worms take you back to the soil? Are you coming up soon from under the ground like a zombie? Martin Bow, Father, Lucia Bow, Dagenhart, Friend Bow, Dagenhart. They did that whole hyphenated last name shit. <clears throat> they fought in the Great War. What, can I light the candle? Little candle, keep my parents warm. I'm gonna light the candle though. I got matches. Wait, can I exit like this? Booten. Wow, it opened. Is that a keyhole? I wonder what happened if I find the key. It didn't explain how it works. I have to find it out. I have to find out by myself. There was this thing. Which I haven't really looked at much. I wonder why Palantras gave me this. I can't open it. Else, I can only press the buttons, I believe. Maybe there's a secret code or something, or maybe it can't be opened at all. I feel like I'm missing information on that. Anything in the book? Oh, thank you for the follow! Yeek, 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 
me. Uh, uh, smelly man. Grave robbing, grave robbing, grave robbing. It's like one of my favorite things to do in video games. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. It's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Pry it open. Break it. Oh shit, it's one of you. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, oh, I'm. Oh, it's a man. Uh, I don't care. I see, I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Oh. Right now we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for making, we need it for the mating ritual. It's where pine cones oh. fuck hard. <laughs> yes, last year we used old human skin, but the dinosaur oh. worms wanted it back. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, hmm. So are we, we are looking for something more synthetic? Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant fish. It's, they, he said mating ritual, okay? That was the implication. The pine fo cones are gonna fuck. We saw a baby pine cone earlier. It's gonna happen. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss. But where will I ever find that, huh? All right, I see what I can do. Break the car! Break the car. 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 Use the car. I am a lawless child. Nothing can stop me. There you go, sir. The I fucking hate this thing. Well, thank you, gent. Mr. Tribe, the Pinezillos will be happy. Oh. Now I'll open the door. Just a second. Up oh, hi. Jesus Christ. Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Oh. You always dead. <laughs> I'm... I'm alright, miss, yes? Good! Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, gent miss. Eh, uh, Fabio? Fuck. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. He left the bedroom. He managed to undo the handcuffs again. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Huh, there's nothing in here I can use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Oh, I can't dig with a broom. How long are these pine cones gonna be running away for? Oh. Well, let's dig up another grave, shall we? Oh, oh you find the shovel. There you are, Fred. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Well, let's dig up my parents' grave. Ha 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 ha. Now we have we'll have to come up come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to, I needed it to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, friend. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. Well, time to look at the fucking pieces of my parents again. Ugh, oh, the coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. Well, use the crowbar. How did you 
Weren't you cut into multiple pieces? Oh my goodness, Father, the deadly worms took your eyes. Oh, Mother, you look, you're so skinny, a bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Ugh. Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, Mommy. I didn't see who's... I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bed monster, dim Daddy? Let's find my corpse. Let's find my corpse. That's my cat. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great, that, that's my cat. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir, I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. You made me dig up my parents' grave. What the fuck? Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Friend, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. If I, I did find my kitty, you have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fred, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. Still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Why is everyone's way of dealing with children to traumatize them? Even Itward was like, yeah, I'm gonna lock you in this room, and then you're gonna have the fuck L grapes. And then there's- so we can do a surprise party. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore! I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Here it comes. Go fuck yourself forever. Put me in my coffin with my dead cat. You broken little girl. Hi. The house of madness invites you inside. That's a birdcage. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. We're going to the fifth reality now? Wake up now, friend. Wake up. I have eye holes. 